The ocean is a world of sound, not silence. Beneath the waves, where darkness rules, creatures have evolved to communicate in ways we're only starting to grasp. For centuries, we thought the sea was quiet. We were wrong. The ocean is alive with a symphony of clicks, whistles, and groans. At the heart of it all are whales. Whales aren't just giant fish. They're mammals with families, play, and complex conversations. Their songs travel for miles, some of the most intricate vocalizations in the animal kingdom. Sailors once called these sounds the voices of sea monsters or sirens. Only with the invention of the hydrophone in the 1950s did we discover the true source, whales, especially humpbacks, singing structured songs that evolve over time. These aren't random noises, they're compositions with repeating themes like our music. But what are they saying? Are they sharing stories, warnings, or simply reaching out for connection? Decades of listening have filled libraries with whale recordings, but the complexity is staggering. Imagine trying to learn a language by eavesdropping on a stadium full of people with one microphone. We could admire the beauty of their songs, but the meaning remained locked away. We saw their intelligence, their social lives, their grief, and their cooperation. Signs of a rich inner world. But the key to understanding their language was missing. We needed a new tool, something that could sift through an ocean of sound and find the patterns we couldn't. The language of Wales was a beautiful encrypted book. To unlock it, we needed a new kind of listener, one that could hear what we could not. That listener would be artificial intelligence. The breakthrough didn't come from marine biology, it came from artificial intelligence. AI is a pattern-finding machine, able to analyze vast amounts of data faster than any human. Scientists wondered, could the same technology that translates human languages help us decode whale communication? The idea was bold, but irresistible. Projects like SETI deployed hydrophones in whale hotspots, recording every click, call, and coda, along with who made them and what was happening. This context is crucial. It lets AI link sounds to actions and situations. Once the data is collected, AI gets to work, using machine learning to sift through thousands of hours of recordings. It doesn't look for words, but for recurring acoustic units, the building blocks of whale talk. AI identifies patterns, variations in pitch, frequency, and rhythm, distinguishing individual whales and their unique voices. It starts to map which sounds are used during hunting, socializing, or between mothers and calves. This isn't a simple translation, we can't just type hello and get the whale equivalent. Instead, AI reveals the structure and complexity of their language, phonetics, syntax, and conversational turn-taking. It's like an alien linguist studying humans for the first time. It may not know what love means, but it sees the rules and patterns. AI is our alien linguist for the ocean, uncovering the hidden order in the whale's world. For the first time, we have a tool that can truly listen. The quest to decode whale communication has found its new engine. The ocean's secrets are finally within reach. One of the most ambitious efforts is Project SETI, focusing on sperm whales. Sperm whales don't sing, they click, using rapid series of codas like Morse code. These codas are short, rhythmic, and patterned, perfect for computational analysis. The digital-like nature of their communication makes it ideal for AI to decode. SETI's team studies a resident population off Dominica, tracking individuals and their social networks over years. Using non-invasive tags and advanced hydrophones, they're building a detailed record of sperm whale life, who says what, to whom, and when. AI models are learning the fundamental components of sperm whale communication. Codas aren't random, they're built from a finite set of rhythmic patterns like words from an alphabet. AI can now distinguish different codas, identify individual whales, and recognize unique voices. This is like picking out individual speakers in a crowded room, even if we don't know what's being said yet. The ultimate goal, not just to listen, but to talk back. If AI can generate contextually appropriate codas and whales respond predictably, we'll know we've cracked part of their code. It's not about deep conversation, it's about understanding and connection. For the first time, a two-way conversation with another species is within reach. The dictionary of whale talk is being written, one click at a time. What have scientists and AI actually found? Whale communication is more complex than we ever imagined. Sperm whale codas are combinatorial, basic click patterns combined to create new meanings like words forming sentences. AI has identified a phonetic alphabet of core components rearranged to convey different information, a hallmark of true language. Some codas function like names, 
whales announce themselves and family members use those codas to address each other. Other codas signal group behaviors like initiating a deep dive for hunting. AI analysis shows whales take turns in conversation, pausing and responding, sometimes even interrupting just like us. This structured exchange suggests genuine dialogue, not just random noise. AI has also revealed layers of complexity. Whales can add extra clicks called rubato, changing the meaning of a coda, like adding an adjective. They can speed up or slow down codas, possibly adding emotional context, excitement, urgency, or calm. These subtle modifications are invisible to human ears but clear to AI. The more we listen, the more we see. Whale talk is rich, flexible, and deeply social. We're not just hearing calls, we're witnessing conversations. The ocean's language is intricate and we're finally learning its grammar. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding their world. The building blocks of whale talk are falling into place. The biggest surprises aren't just what whales say but how they say it. We expected loud long-distance calls but AI revealed a world of quiet intimate communication. Whales have inside voices, using softer, more complex codas when close together, like whispering. This hints at social intimacy and privacy we never imagined. AI has also uncovered a vast vocabulary, hundreds of distinct codas, far more than we thought. Their lexicon is more like a novel than a picture book. Even more remarkable, whales have dialects. Different clans use different codas for the same ideas, just as humans have regional accents. Calves learn their family's dialect. This is culture, passed down through generations. This isn't just instinct, it's learning, tradition, and social complexity. Whales aren't just talking, they're telling stories, sharing knowledge, and building societies. The ocean is full of voices, each with its own history. We're only beginning to listen. Understanding whale language isn't just fascinating, it's vital for their survival. The oceans are getting louder, filled with shipping, sonar, and industrial noise. For whales, this is like trying to talk next to a jet engine, stressful and disruptive. AI lets us pinpoint how noise affects them, detecting changes in their calls and stress levels. We can show exactly how human activity disrupts feeding, parenting, and social bonds. This data empowers conservationists to push for quieter ships, rerouted shipping lanes, and protected acoustic sanctuaries. It's about more than saving whales from harm. It's about preserving their culture and communication. When people see transcripts of whale conversations, empathy grows. Whales become relatable social beings, not just symbols. This emotional connection drives real conservation action. By giving whales a voice, we strengthen their case for protection. The science is a tool for empathy and change. Listening is the first step to saving them. The work with whales is just the beginning. The tools developed for decoding whale talk can be adapted to dolphins, elephants, even prairie dogs. Every social species has a communication system. Now we have a key to unlock them. Imagine asking elephants where to find water or learning from dolphins about the health of the sea. This isn't just curiosity, it's partnership. We're moving from a monologue to a dialogue with the natural world. This research challenges our view of language as uniquely human. If whales have names and culture, are they so different from us? Intelligence is not a single human peak, but a landscape with many summits. The Dream, a zoological Rosetta Stone, a universal translator powered by AI. We may never discuss philosophy with a whale, but we can understand their needs and warnings. This leap in understanding could transform conservation and our relationship with life on Earth. The age of interspecies dialogue is dawning. We're living in a remarkable time. Big data, AI, and a passion for understanding nature have opened a door sealed for millennia. Whale songs are resolving into language we can finally begin to understand. The work is slow, but a true conversation with another species now feels possible. This journey is teaching us as much about ourselves as about whales. We've learned the ocean is alive with ancient families, sharing knowledge and identity. Our noise drowns out their voices, we have a responsibility to listen and protect. AI is not just a decoder, it's a mirror reflecting our impact on other lives. As we learn the grammar and stories of whale language, we'll discover new depths of intelligence and connection. The great dialogue is just beginning. The world is more complex, beautiful and full of intelligent life than we ever dared to dream.